Today we will be demonstrating how to use the nanoparticle-based in vivo transfection kit manufactured by Altogen Biosystems. First you must decide on a route of administration. Here we present a tutorial for tail vein IV or intratumoral IT injections in mice. Start by diluting 60 micrograms of plasmid DNA or 100 micrograms of siRNA into either 100 microliters of water for tail vein IV or 50 microliters of water for intratumoral IT administration. All water used is DNA RNAs free molecular biology grade water. Make sure to vortex the diluted transfection material before adding to a sterile tube with transfection reagent. For tail IV use 50 microliters of transfection reagent and for intratumoral administration use this chart to determine the optimal volume. Next, incubate the mixture for 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature to allow complex formation. Then add 10 microliters of transfection enhancer reagent, gently vortex, and incubate for an additional 5 minutes at room temperature. If you are transfecting using intratumoral injection, you may proceed with the animal administration. If you are using IV tail vein injection, the final injection volume must be adjusted to account for animal weight using the chart as shown. Note that the injection volume increases 100 microliters per 5 grams of animal weight. Finally, if you are assaying for mRNA expression, it is suggested you wait 12 to 36 hours post-injection. If you are assaying for protein levels, it is suggested you wait 24 to 48 hours post-injection for best results. Our transfection kit is designed for efficient delivery to organs including the heart, liver, lung, pancreas, spleen, brain, kidney, as well as various tumor types. We will now show several Western blot validations of our in vivo transfection kit. Here are the spleen, kidney, pancreas, and liver Western validations of our nanoparticle in vivo transfection kit. IV injections were used to administer mice with three different treatments. These blots show laminae levels. Blue arrows indicate scrambled RNA, which as a control did not change from non-treated cells. Red arrows indicate laminate siRNA, which resulted in partial silencing, and green arrows indicate laminate DNA, which resulted in overexpression. Here are additional westerns featuring brain tumor, lung, and heart laminae expressions. The tumor sample was treated subcutaneously rather than IV. The same treatments apply, where blue arrows indicate scramble RNA control, red indicates siRNA treatment, and green indicates DNA overexpression. Additional information about this product can be found on our website at altogen.com. Thanks for watching our tutorial. For more information or products, visit us at altogen.com.